What's up, everybody? Ghost Dog Gaming. We're back with part eight for our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. Um, while I was gone, I just did a couple of little mini side quests here and there. Nothing special. I didn't do any of the uh, main quests or anything. Um, I did do, I think, a, a broom race or something like that. I did a lot of these little, like, uh, a lot of these uh, these things right here. These little, like, mini puzzles and things like that. Uh, I also found out that... Um, the statue, uh, the, the guy is just sitting there and he's kind of holding uh, a globe. Um, you are supposed to use Levioso on them to actually unlock them. Uh, that, was, that was news to me. I just sat there and just casted almost every skill that I had and the Levioso one worked. So now I get to go around and try and find all those statues again. Uh, but other than that, it's not a big deal. That's the best part about this game is that there's always like something new, something different, which is kind of exciting, kind of fun. Let's see if we can't find this uh, this little this statue here. Oh, see, there's a Levioso one right there. See, I did not know you were supposed to do that. So, uh, good news is we're at 21 of 50. Lumos. So we're pretty, uh, almost halfway there. Ah, there he is. There's our moth. Next to a Kelpie statue. That's what those are, the little... Uh, down, right? Yep, there it is. All right, so we are going to follow our little. Is this it? Oh, we got to go through here. To the underground harbor. All right. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I'm loving it. This is this is truly a, a great game. And for those of you that are uh, watching this now or have watched it later, on my YouTube, I do have all my playthroughs going through. I do apologize for uh, playthrough part 5B, I think. Uh, the uh, the group chat got a little wild with some uh, ridiculous comments and things like that. But All right, let's... Get some of these chests right here. How do I get over there? Lumos. Do I swim? No way. Does it want me to swim? It does. I think it does. It does want me to swim. Look at that. All right, swim it is. I wish I could swim just a wee bit faster. You know what I mean? Just a little bit, tiny bit faster. I mean, it won't let me use my broom, which seems kind of silly, but... The good news is we are going to get a uh, flu flame, it looks like, here, so... We can at least get that taken care of. So that we don't have to... come out here again. We just fast travel. Rebellion. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically. 
No, at least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we dueled in the Crossed Ones Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in my people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the Ministry, then the Mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the Mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course I haven't exact... I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Rest of... I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but... I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Oh, oh great, I'm gonna really have to swim for it. How has wizard kind fallen short? I'm just gonna skip through all this. Skip through that? all this, and well, now I can I help you. Swim and could help you. You'd really do that? Yes. But the last thing I want is for them to think I'd shun. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to the. Alright, before we do that, I've got a few pieces of gear, I think, that are a little bit better. Nope, just kidding. That would give me a little bit more offense, but that one gives me more damage. So I'm going to hold off and wear that one instead. How about these guys? A little bit more defense. We'll change our outfit back to our hero attire. I like that. Legendary armor equipped. Uh, there was one that was good. Yeah, there's one. 60, and that one's 64. Yep. Oh, what is that? Handcrafted necklace. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see that we unlocked that one. What is that? Alright. Now, to the mer people. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Look at this place. Did the Mer people maybe leave Narada an artifact? Incendio! Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Is this to open the door? It is. Now for the Look at that. Too bad you can't grab more than one. Or at least I don't think you can. I haven't tried. I'm pretty sure you can't because we tried to do that before. Artifact. All right. Dive into the water. I also thought about just uh, kind of just going around the map and just doing like the little mini side quest stuff, like the Trials of Merlin and things like that, but then I saw that there was a main quest and I kind of wanted to do it uh, before. Your gift from the I wanted to do the exactly main quest, but I also wanted oh, to stream it. Wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. 
Merlin's beard. It's marvelous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the ministry. Should I hand deliver or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't All right. wait to study this. Rebellion. There's got to be a... Oh, there's... There's that. Okay, so for those, zap them. Field guide page. I feel like... There's no... Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. I knew there was a book somewhere here. Or a, a page. It's had, there had to be. Look at that. 24 out of 50. Alright. Now to the main quest. Here we go. Oh, we gotta meet him in uh, Field, uh, Fieldcroft. That's right. Way down here. I thought about just drive, like driving, flying around and just doing all these like little Merlin trials because I have a bunch down here that I need to do. But we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this quest. Do this quest first. See where we're at, and then maybe we'll go knock out some Merlin trials. I do need to do quite a bit of them. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can sell some of my gear in case I get something. Nice to see you as well. What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? Hey, I can sell stuff. Sweet. Mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time. Rebellion. Is this a level one lock? Level two lock. All right. Let's go see Sebastian. Oh, we gotta wait. You made it. Yeah, I've been waiting for you. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. Oh man, I thought we were going to Rookwood Castle. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. Handy with Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Oh boy, I don't know what I'm going to expect here. <laughs> We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! 
When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it! Now look what you've done! I'm sorry! Leave. I'm sorry you had to see that. Well, that was anticlimactic. Rebellious need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. Revelio. my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. 
Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Revelio. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. The wizard is a dead wizard. Let's get it. Who's it? One less human to worry about. And send it. Easy peasy. That was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Warn me about what? That was awesome. Nothing to warn me about. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Revelio! Hmm. 
It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here Couldn't bring up centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a Revelio. closer look at the house itself. And it's the little things like that that's uh, just a little bit annoying. <laughs> like, why am I getting stuck in a house? This well looks familiar. What? It looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor. Hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Revelio. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Lumos tells me they're after something bigger. Revelio. Lumos. A journal entry of Isadora's. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me, too. I 
know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient... I'm tempted to hold my breath. Lumos. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see on... Did I mention that, apparently... Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts. You did not? Sounds worth looking into. No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Rebellion. Oh, I just realized I was muted. What up, T-Law? Meet me near the ruins of Falbutton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. I have to find the Elden Rings first. I'm just kidding. Attend astronomy class. He said it was a creature induced injury, but I don't think so. Rebellion. Oh, wait. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from... Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. 
But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows De Polso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature... If you tell me where to go, I'll see... Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana. No, we're gonna do the uh we're gonna do this quest. Attend astronomy class. Revelio. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does oh. sound interesting. <laughs> Revelio. What are you up to now? The first class is at, it's at night. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? I feel like this is going to be another collection thing. Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. 
It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. Oh no, there's something he wants to talk to me about. Oh great. Oh, this way. Oh, hello. Good for you. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is, um... Something else? Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope. No need to convince me. All right. You won't rec Shall we? <clears throat> no, we're by the yeah, by the beast sanctum. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally Rebellion. marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the glass from now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. <laughs> Why don't you lead the way? Oh, he's so scared. Oh, hey. Rebellion. Little for cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Revelio. There's the platform over there. More cobwebs, incendiary. Any spiders might be lurking about. Oh no, not this close to school. I mean, Revelio. Look, there's the table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try. It. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Hey, that's cool. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. All right, we got more collecting things to do. Quest complete astronomy class. 
That sounds like a challenge, right? Complete two landing plat. Oh, that's landing platforms. Oops. Oh, astronomy table. There it is. Cool. All right. All right, we're 45 minutes in, Shadow of the Bloodline. That's a side quest. Let's go do this natty quest. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Revelli. Go, go in this cave really quick, and then we'll wait for Netty. Can I open it? Oh, I can't open it? Lame. All right, we'll wait. Oh, it's at nighttime. I forgot. I'm glad that you received my help. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Asi, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in... Oh, I'll be fine. ...for good. <laughs> that letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just... I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate. I do not see any guards, but we should... I wonder what that does. That did it. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Revelio. Dead end. Must be another way in.
That looks as if it might raise the gate. Neat little puzzles, I like those. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Yeah, restrain the beast! I haven't seen Mama C in a minute. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blast it! Man, you're so slow! Another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Rebellion. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Revelio. Levioso. Oh, come on. The safest. Oh, it still counts. Good. Whew. Alohamora. I also like these uh, this little key, little key puzzles. Kind of cool. I haven't actually <laughs> hit auto solve before. <laughs> He's having an easier time of it. It's a level two lock. That is a ladder. Definitely check out that ladder first. Oh, hey. You're going home 
in a wooden box. What? Someone messing about. Bye. What have you done? Bye. <laughs> that's uh that's oddly satisfying. <laughs> that is uh that is really, really satisfying just knocking him off a ledge like that. Oh, there's another one. There you are. Come on. Look, oh my. Hurry. Yeah! We saved the hippogriffs! Oh! Same controls. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. not. This is kind of cool. I like this. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. 
<laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Hyrule before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. I've unlocked High Wing? Sepulchria? What? Oh, new beast inventory slots. Sweet! Flying mounts. Oh, is that not what's allowed? All right. Cool. All right. We're going to end the stream there. We got a hippogriff. Of a wizard who is being harassed by oh, Halo. hold on. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Okay. Out of all those, which one of them are actual quests and which one? Okay, back on path is the map chamber one. Okay. These are just... Side quest, side quest, side quest. Okay. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. We got a hippogriff. We did some missions. And this will be uploaded to the YouTube um, probably with, uh, within by tomorrow, I would say. So till then, see you guys next time.